Top 10 Humanoid Robots in 2022, Part 2. Humanoid robots intrigue us to no end, as proven by the great interest our viewers had in our last installation of the Top 10 Humanoid Robots, therefore we bring you a Part 2 with the most interesting robots out there that you may have not even come across. Number 10. RoboC Promobot, the largest robot company in Russia and Eastern Europe, has started selling human-like robots that they call Android RoboC, a robot companion. The robot can have the appearance of any person that the customer wishes. An anthropomorphic machine mimics human expressions. It can move its eyes, eyebrows, lips, and support conversations, all thanks to artificial intelligence. The company also claims that RoboC can reproduce about 600 variants of human microfacial expressions. The robot is suitable for both commercial and personal use. The perm-based company says Android RoboC can replace consultant employees in banks, cellular offices, hotels, shops, insurance companies, airports, etc. It can answer the questions of the visitors in shopping malls and museums. For personal users, the manufacturer will release assistant robots for managing smart homes. Number 9. Disney's Groot Disney's R&D Labs, commonly known as its Imagineering team, does have some extremely impressive and expressive things with robots. It's made of mechanical stunt doubles, lifelike alien Navi, and, uh, a skinless weirdo. But the company's latest creation looks like it quite literally walked out of a Disney movie. It's a bipedal Groot that can amble about tether-free. As Disney's Pinocchio would put it, he's got no strings to hold him down. TechCrunch's Matthew Panzerino has the lowdown on this robotic milestone for Disney. It's part of the company's long-term efforts to develop autonomous robot actors for its parks, says Panzerino, under the codename of Project Kiwi. The company's engineers spent years creating their own freestanding bipedal robotics platform to power Groot, and Panzerino, who got to see the robot in person, came away impressed with their efforts. The gait is smooth, the arms swing in a lifelike manner, and the feet plant realistically. The body sways exactly as you'd expect it. There's no other way to say it, it's ambling, he writes of the robotic Groot. The pint-sized character has accurately rendered textures on its face, hands, and feet. It's dressed in a distressed red flight suit that you may remember from the films, and its eyes are expressive as it looks at me in waves. Number 8. Lynx Chinese robotics company Yubtech has launched Lynx, the first humanoid robot with Alexa built in. It does everything Alexa can, like setting reminders and playing music through the speakers in its ears, plus a few extra features. There's a surveillance mode that will have Lynx take and send a 30-second video to the companion app on your smartphone if it detects any sound or movement via its infrared chest sensor. And the avatar mode lets you see and speak through the robot's camera and microphone, so you don't miss another event again by sending Lynx in your place. It costs a mere $800. Number 7. Walker X Yubtech Robotics has also unveiled Walker X, the latest version of its groundbreaking bipedal humanoid robot at the World Artificial Intelligence Conference held in Shanghai. The robot can interact with people, pick up objects, and avoid obstacles lively and flexibly. It is lighter and more energy efficient than the previous generation robot. The Walker X robot is designed like the human body, with arms, legs, and a head driven by 41 high-torque servo motor joints. The robot has hands complete with fingers that allow it to perform tasks using fine motor skills. It can grab objects, squeeze them, and even perform actions that are quite difficult for robots. For example, open the bottle cap. The robot can hold 3 kilograms of payload per hand. Number 6. Cassie A 53-minute 5K may not sound like a feat, but for engineers at Oregon State University, it was historic. Cassie, the first bipedal robot to use machine learning to control a running gait on outdoor terrain, ran 5 kilometers untethered around the Oregon State University campus in just over 53 minutes on a single charge. It's the first time a robot has learned to walk and run and successfully do that outside over human terrain, normal terrain, Jonathan Hurst, an OSU robotics professor and founder of Agility Robotics, told KGW. Hearst and a team of engineers developed Cassie with the help of a 16-month, $1 million grant from the U.S. Department of Defense. Number 5. Toyota Q5 Fans watching Team USA lose to France on television during the Tokyo Olympics witnessed an unusual scene unfold at halftime. A metallic humanoid robot wheeling out onto the court for a special demonstration. 
The 6 foot 10 inch Q5 robot developed by Toyota scored a free throw and a three pointer before zooming to the half court line, calculating just the right arch and sinking another shot with eerie precision. Of course, the stands were empty, so there was no raucous fan reaction in person, but the internet immediately went wild. This robot isn't taking any basketball player's job anytime soon. Though its accuracy is dead on thanks to AI-enhanced aim and a host of sensors on its torso that measure distance, the Q5 took a full 15 seconds to set up its half-court shot, and it can't jump or dribble. Still, some people couldn't help but get in a few digs at certain players, implying that the robot could eclipse them in overall performance at any moment. Toyota developed the first Q-Robot just for fun in 2017. Since then, they've gone through multiple iterations, improving each one a little bit more. Number 4. XR1 At Mobile World Congress in Los Angeles, CloudMinds displayed its XR1 humanoid service robot, which it said is the first in the US to use cloud-based AI and 5G connectivity. It first showed the XR1 at MWC Barcelona the past spring. XR1 includes a proprietary smart compliant actuator and proprietary smart joints for precise movement and manipulation. With vision-controlled grasping and the ability to perform intricate tasks, the XR1 simply raises the bar and lays the foundation for an even wider range of intelligent compliant cloud service robots from cloud mines, from wheeled to two-legged form factors, stated Bill Huang, co-founder and CEO of cloud mines. Number 3. Tesla Bot when Tesla first announced its humanoid robot in August 2021, some people took it as a joke, especially since it was previewed by a dancing human being dressed to resemble the Tesla bot. Bizarre introduction aside, Elon Musk was pretty serious about the robot, saying that a prototype would be built in 2022. He also said the bot would be designed for dangerous, repetitive, or boring work that people don't like to do. The robot, dubbed Optimus, was later teased in a Tesla China video about its new R&D center in Shanghai, hinting that the team there is working on developing the robot. Then in December, Musk said at Wall Street Journal's CEO Council Summit that the robot could help solve labor shortage. All these things suggest Tesla is very serious about the project, but if you still have any doubts, Elon Musk's latest statements about the Tesla bot will dispel them. Number 2. Actroid Sit Actroid Sit, a lifelike robot from Japanese firm Kokoro, hasn't received as much attention as her cousin, Geminoid F, which happens to be a copy of a real woman. But while Geminoid F is a tele-operated robot, Actroid Sit can function autonomously, talking and gesturing while interacting with people. In fact, researchers have recently demonstrated how improvements to Actroid's behavior can make it look smarter and more expressive than your average android. Actroid now makes eye contact and gestures in the direction of a person trying to speak to her, allowing it to adeptly handle crowds of people. To develop the new behavior, researchers from Nara Institute of Science and Technology studied how individuals and groups interacted with the robot. Based on their observations, they focused on two new features, which they call interruptibility and motion parameterization, hoping to improve human-robot interaction. Number 1. iCub the iCub is a humanoid robot, developed under the Robot Cub project. It is a 53 degree of freedom robot, roughly 1 meter tall, and is equipped with visual, vestibular, auditory, haptic, proprioceptive, and torque sensors. The iCub was successfully used within the I Am Clever project to investigate developmental learning processes. Development in the human infant is restricted by a series of constraints, which restrain the infant's action repertoire and sensing capabilities. Initially, these constraints reduce the perceived complexity of the environment and limit interaction, providing a scaffold that helps the infant to make sense of the world. As the infant learns, these constraints are then gradually eased or lifted, allowing the infant to advance into a new stage of development. That's it for this video, folks. See you another time.